Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan. Today in this video, I will tell you about Parkinson's disease and the main factor behind its development. So let us begin with Parkinson's disease is. Parkinson's disease is a brain disorder that affects one's nervous system, which is a network of neurons that is about 100 billion in the brain and 13.5 million in the spinal cord. These network of neurons are the one responsible for the carrying out electrical signal to and from different part of the body. When struggling with the Parkinson's disease, neuron in the human brain that controls bodily function get damaged. When this extensive damage happens to the brain neuron, its function deteriorates. For example, tremor in the hand, arm, leg, jaw or head. Difficulty in swallowing, chewing and even speaking develop and worsen over time. This deterioration that develops throughout our body is mainly due to the progressive damage that has affected the brain's neuron. In my experience, this disorder generally develops as we age and is mainly seen in people above the age of 50 or 60 years old. Therefore, you might have understood what Parkinson's disease is and how it affects our body. Now, this disorder mainly develops when brains get damaged. So as an individual should consider how they can take care of themselves so that such extensive brain damage doesn't occur. And to do that, one should understand the reason behind the development of Parkinson's disease. As discussed before, one main factor behind Parkinson is age. However, there are many other factors that can affect brain's health and lead to the such dreadful condition. As by my experience, and research, Parkinson's disease mainly affects individuals who lead a stressful life, work night shifts, which means they do not get a good night sleep, and individuals who do not take a proper diet or do not eat well. Therefore, I have found that there is no specific reason for this disorder to develop. It is mainly due to some external factor that affects or damages one's brain. Now, let us get back to the how one can tackle this Parkinson's disease. The first and foremost thing that you should understand is when neurons get damaged. It is impossible to repair them back, but with one technique, we can improve a Parkinson's patient's condition, that is neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the amazing ability of the brain to heal itself from any damage. Just like a wound or cut that heals on its own. Now let us understand what neuroplasticity is and how it helps a Parkinson patient to recover. When the neurons in the brain get damaged, for example, the network that was controlling the hands and finger get damaged, then your hand won't function as needed. Therefore, in neuroplasticity, what happens? The healthy neurons bypass the faulty neuron. With this procedure, with this technique, the functioning of the brains becomes better. However, for this neuroplasticity to be effective, a Parkinson patient body should have sufficient micronutrients and proper vitamins and minerals, which support the nervous system, like vitamin B12 and vitamin D. These vitamins are essential for any recovery to occur in Parkinson patient. Now you might think about where you can get a sufficient amount of B12 and vitamin D. You can get them from non-vegetarian food items such as fish, chicken and eggs. Now if you are a vegetarian, you can go for vitamin B12 and vitamin D supplement that are widely available in any market. Now you may have understood what neuroplasticity is and how one can get effective recovery. So when dealing with Parkinson's disease, what you should do is to stop dwelling on things that leads to this condition. When going for any treatment method such as neuroplasticity, make sure your body is fit and healthy to get an effective recovery. This proper approach towards Parkinson will give you an individual one more chance to live. I hope this video might have helped you to understand Parkinson's disease. And still, if you have any doubt, you can call for a consultation with my team of doctors who are at your service. I conclude here, meet you all again in the next video, be happy and stay healthy.